Tonight, water concerns for thousands of people living in a metro suburb. Public Works discovered what they call an elevated level of a cancer-causing chemical. Our Alan Henry was in Inver Grove tonight, Inver Grove Heights rather tonight. He's here now to explain what is going on. Hi, Alan. Hey, that's right. This is a copy of the notice residents of Inver Grove Heights got about two weeks ago. And while it's certainly not good news, here's what the man in charge of the city's water told me. The water is safe to drink. I come to work every day. I drink water here every day. Um, and, and I have no qualms about doing it. That's the message from Inver Grove Heights Public Works Director. Despite thousands of notices being sent to residents about elevated levels of a chemical called radium in their water. It said the levels were a little bit higher than normal, and it, so it was wasn't all that concerning to me. It was it was, you know, I, I've curtailed some of my water usage for drinking uh, the tap water, but. Other than that, I'm not overly concerned. Radium is a naturally occurring radioactive element, harmless in small doses, but linked to cancer if exposed to it over several years. Concerned citizens raised questions Tuesday night. It's not just drinking water. This is water we bathe in every day. We water our plants every day. You can't know what radium is going to do to people with the current things going on in their bodies, so be careful. Inver Grove Heights water tested over the safe level in October, but the city just learned about those results last month. We'll start at the, in late 2021. The Department of Health started to do quarterly tests instead of annual tests just to see if they could uh, nail down a little better, um, perhaps, you know, if that was just an anomaly or if it was actually a trend. Officials are confident those levels will go down, especially after changing filters at the water treatment plant, some of which have been there since day one. So our oldest filters in our system are approaching almost 25 years in age, um, while the younger filters are almost 17. I think they're working on it, and we'll, we'll find out if it's better next, next round, I guess. The next round of results from water testing is expected to be released sometime in the next two weeks. Meanwhile, the city stresses this is not an emergency and says people don't need to boil their water or find bottled water while they work on this. Amelia? All right. Thank you, Alan.